Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler continuing rambling through Skyrim with Neobol. And we have found this place, what was it called? Mara's Eye? I think it's something like that. Mara's Eye Pond. We found this trap door in here. I may have come through here once in my other travels, but it's not really coming back to me. So I'm not sure. Let's zoom in here. Now, we are at 1 in the morning, so there's always the possibility if we don't go into here that we're just going to get taken down by a vampire anyway, or some other beast of the night. So, it may be safer down this hole, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, in case this is my final episode, I never know when it's going to be, do... Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about this. Not only, you know, the series in general and the idea of, of uh, rolling, roaming through Skyrim like this, but also the idea of releasing all these as a complete series all at once. I, I am f discovering one uh, downside to that concept. Normally, I will uh, create a, a raw video, then I'll edit it, then I will... Uh, render it, send it to YouTube, and delete the raw and move on to the next one. So I've got, I don't know, what is this one, number 10? 9 or 10? I think 10. So I've got 10 very big raw videos stacked up in here. And I've got, of course, all kinds of other uh, rendered videos on this hard drive too, and I'm finding myself actually getting low on room. So I may have to do a little, little cleaning and reorganizing. But enough talk let's pull out that's the burning one and I've got uh, orcish arrows loaded good said all that before I got started let's pop in here and see what happens big mistake or not Amara is the statue that we started this thing with. The Mara statue, if I've got the, the, the spelling right, I think it was M-A-R-A on both of them, that uh, she's also, I think, the one that you go to for marriage. So what she has to do with this, so it's not necessarily a vampire or werewolf kind of a, kind of a thing, not like a, a Daedra or Daedric. God, I would think a little more peaceful. There's a big old statue. It must be a temple in here. There's a temple in here, but you'd think that her followers would not be anyone we'd have to fear. Reasoning my way through this, because I'm going to have to decide soon if I'm going to put an arrow through whoever that is. If that is a person. That's the one laying down? Or... Okay, that's the way out. No, it's not. Um, I'm just kind of rambling here, aren't I? Do I kill the first person I see? Or are these not bad people? That is someone. Sleeping? Not likely. Search smuggler. So smugglers have taken over this place. Is that what I am to gather? Could be. I'm in the light. That's not good. Or am I about to get into something else entirely? You know, Mara summons me. Orcish mace. Sleeping in a bed. Who are you? You're a vampire fledgling. Oh, that's what I wanted to know. I'm not playing this one. That's a game I really don't want to take on. Though you're alone, right? No, there's two of you. Ah. 
It's just the two. We could clean this up and be out of here. That is kind of my my mission. I clean out what I consider to be the bad guys. Alright. How did I miss? Is that enough? That was enough. Nobody else in here. Where does this path go? And why? That seems so odd, unless underneath me is where it goes. And it has filled up with water since. Anything else important up here before we head down there? That looks important. What are you? Just a gold necklace. And your ring. You are a quill. You are a smuggler's journal. So this was a smuggler's place and the vampires have moved in. What's going on here? This war isn't as good for business as I thought it would be. Sure, the pay is good, but the runs are harder with all the extra soldiers on the road and finding jobs that are worth the risk uh, is difficult. Like our current job. Guy hires us to move a bunch of crates with few questions asked. So we get the goods here, and I take a look at the boxes just to know what I've gotten myself into, and what do I find? Bodies. He's moving bodies. Well, I strip them of their jewels and gold so the joke is on him. <laughs> okay, those bodies were vampires. Are there more crates that have not been opened yet? And if I touch that chest, will new things pop out at me? And are there bite marks? No. <laughs> There's a bloody axe over there. <clears throat> Immortal blood. Weak poison. Fledgling vampire. Garnet lockpick. Vampire dust. Vampire armor is worth quite a bit. Okay. Take that. And... You were a fledgling also. Where does that path go and why? And I didn't actually search. Search my end table. Now that's odd. My end table. There's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff. Like someone's been using it as a store. Ring of Minor Wielding. One-handed attacks. Ooh. Nothing new jumped out at me. New. No. Okay, let's put that ring on. Apparel. And we're 500 or 600. We're running out of room. Ring of. Hmm. Seems like there are a few cursed weapons you put them on, or items. Put them on and, and you're stuck with them. They're not what they th what they seem to be, but that one looked okay. Okay. Hmm. We're done here. We have a chest over there. And a, looks like a money pouch up, up above there. Bloody rags. But I want to know what this path goes to. That's a cage. Why is that a cage in the water? Anything else in the water? Do I dare open this? <laughs> so many questions. Anything in the water? I can't look in. We've got... First of all, we've got one of my arrows. Now. Vigilant of Stendar. It's down here and has died. Okay. Potion of Cure Disease. Book of the Daedra. Torch. 
Novice Robe of Restoration. Amulet of Stendar, block 10%. Alright, this may just about fill us up. We're not overloaded. But it's time to start dumping off some things. Um, oh, I can just open it. I thought it would be locked. There's Apprentice. Let's get our locksmith skills up a bit. So from there, the lockpick is not tapping yet. There it is. Now that's at Adept, right? Oh, Apprentice. A little bit more room for Apprentice. Like that. Okay, nothing down below. No. Okay, so we have one chest left and a coin purse. Just seems like there would have been more than this. And we're under that lake. That doesn't seem like the smartest place to go digging. Search skeleton? You got a couple of gold coins stuck to you there. No on you, and yes on you. Oh, we have a something in here. Ooh, let's go a little higher. I will right, we'll go to here. Take you, empty barrel. Can I stay here now? Thank you. Common, good. There is a 60. Guide to better, thie better thieving. Just blurred together. Pickpocket one up. Okay. Oh, I want to keep that one. E and E. Killing before you're killed. Read. <laughs> you could spend a lot of hours just reading all the books of Skyrim. I want to know who sat down and wrote all of those books beforehand. Now, that's tempting me to go up there. Why? Is there a catch? Is that a trap? Boy, I jumped but didn't go forward. Not easy to get up here, huh? How does one do that? I guess up here? Nope, 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 nope. Come on, hit the little round spot there. I keep going past it. Now I'm stuck. Alright, let's try this again. Now, let's try to get back up on here. Okay. There. Now I am in. There we go. Now can I reach? Thank you. 39. Oh, that was a lot of work for that. Nothing happened. I just wonder if there's a trigger point in here. If I go to this chest, kind of like the bandits outside of uh, outside of White Run. All right, let's give it a try. That said, apprentice. There it is. Gold and healing. Grab you. All the vampires didn't suddenly come home. Okay. I think I'm going to get out of here and be thankful that I survived it. I'll go and meet the vampires that are waiting for me outside, right? Not so far. Did we check that? We did. Well, we came from there. We're going there map. Heading south. Okay. Alright, well. Looks calm. What time is it? 4.20 in the morning. Alright, let's head to those rocks. And I'm reversed. There we go. Under the water. Let's get up here and look around. Maybe. There we go. Feel like Assassin's Creed when I get up here. <clears throat> All right, that's west. I don't see 
Oh, there is somebody right there. Standing guard. Now, where did we see that troll? Not sure. Was it up over there? We're heading this way. Looks calm. Don't see anybody pacing back and forth. Like that vampire and and a hellhound that we saw at one time. Can I get out of this? Yeah, I can go this way. Okay, let's look over the side here. So what is my path? Is it down here? I think it is. That's the... Uh, the uh, pass we, we walked up to get through this area. I'm much more comfortable if I can stay among the rocks. Get up high and and uh, shoot down. There's an arch. Kind of a stone hinge. Kind of a place. What is that? That's a spriggan. That Spriggan is going to control that deer, and both of them are going to attack me. Spriggans take a lot to take down. They're kind of like the troll. Where do I have... I can go down the side, down to there if I need to. And I've got the surprise. Let's do it. Now, we picked up a common... We picked up a common soul gem. Let's see if I can remember to get to bow number three before I, blow, I deal the final blow. Oh, there's... Now there's just the one. Oh, I didn't see where he ran. Where'd you go? There. Healed. Oh. You're not moving. Why? I'm being attacked already, aren't I? Oh, you're invisible. Oh, you regenerated. Nope, not good. Not good. I'm gone. Oh. Let's... Well, let's do this so I can talk. Okay. Yep, Spriggans are not something you want to play with. They can attack you a long distance. I don't know what that spell is or what she was doing to me. Kind of sucking the life out of me is what she was doing. I didn't even realize it was happening until I was so far down. Darn. Oh, that was Noble Orambler. And that was his life. <laughs> so, folks, that has been Rambling... Skyrim and let me know what you think of a series like this is it something that uh, people would want to get excited about or is Skyrim something that everyone has played enough to where they're a little too bored with it so give me your thoughts also thoughts on releasing a whole series at once is it more fun to wait each day for the next episode or is it uh, more uh pleasing just to sit down on a Saturday and fire up a playlist and sit back and watch. So, let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. It's been Noble Rambler. Bye-bye.